It is Monday, July. Is this thing level? What the hell? There. It is Monday, July the 17th. I think it is July 17th, I believe. Let me look at my calendar right quick and I'll just tell you because, you know, I want to be absolutely accurate about everything. It is Monday, July 17th. It's actually Friday the 14th, but you're getting this video on Monday the 17th. Anyway, I'm Don Shader and I'm going to talk to you about something living here in Ecuador. Today I have something fairly new to talk about. And it looks like my camera is not level. I can't stand that, folks. It's got to be exactly right, you know, or I don't want to do it. Right? My dad said, if, he, if it ain't right, it ain't worth doing. Right? So anyway, right after this, we're going to get started. Hey. Oh, rock a cheek. Hello there. Okay, so I got an email. I want to talk to you about an email I got, okay? We don't talk much about this, but I think I've brought it up a couple of times before about dating here and here in Ecuador, okay? So I got an email from a guy, okay? He wrote to me. I'm not going to tell you his name. I think this is a sensitive enough topic that I'm going to reserve his anonymity and not mention his name, but I am going to read his email, okay? So he says, Hi, Don. I'm turning 70 soon and planning to retire, or finally re retire, probably to Ecuador. I'm single and would be coming down alone. And one subject I'm having trouble finding much information on is what it's like to be a single expat in Ecuador. Shit, I can tell you all about that. You wrote to the right person. I'm still relatively healthy and definitely not dead yet. You've touched on this before but I don't think you've ever done a full video on dating and relationships in Ecuador. So he's got some questions, okay? So in particular, here's his question. Is it easy or tough to meet people? Well, I guess that depends on who you're talking to. Depends on your type of personality. For me, it was a piece of cake. I don't, never had any trouble meeting anybody. I see somebody I want to meet, I just walk up and start talking to them, you know? I did that when I first came here and I met this couple in Mega Maxi and I heard him speak in English and I just got here and I just started talking to him. Now, I've never really been out, you know, on the prowl looking for a relationship with anyone. I, I've been single since 1989. I've been, I was in a platonic relationship for the last 10 years in Arizona. I really tried to stay out of these intimate relationships for personal reasons and you know it's just what worked for me okay so when I came here I didn't come here with the uh, expectations of meeting anybody and having a relationship but boy I tell you it can happen to you all right I met one of the most wonderful women I've ever met in my whole life and I love her to death and I, I had no no intention of meeting her when, when I came here. So, but I gotta say, it's, it's really, it's, it's up to your personality type. You, there are single people in Ecuador. I think women outnumber men here. It's a pretty high ratio. I, for some reason, seven keeps coming to mind. I keep thinking that seven to Women outnumber men seven to one here, I think. If somebody knows the true and accurate answer to that, please correct me in the comment section and so we can get this straight. But there is a lot of single women here. And i got to tell you something else, too, guys. The younger women here in Ecuador, probably some of the most beautiful women you've ever seen. I'll tell you. And you don't see a lot of overweight, unhealthy looking women like you see in the United States, like these two bovines sitting here in this picture here. They're actually three bovines, you know, hogging down on a bucket of KFC. Uh, you don't, you're not going to see that here, here in Ecuador. 
you're going to see some of the most fit, most gorgeous, beautiful women that will make you want to drop to your knees and bawl like a four-year-old. I ain't going to tell you what else you can do. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, so is it easy or tough? I would say it's easy. It's easy to me. And I'll tell you another thing, too. Let me, let me make this point, okay? It's easy to meet men and women here. You know why? It's because these people are friendly here. Okay? The Ecuadorian people are the most friendly people I've ever met in my life. Because I've been in that shithole United States for the last 69 and a half years. You know, the rat race, where all the rats are winning. You know, nobody has time to be friendly in the United States. But... Boy, you're going to meet friendly people here, I'm telling you. And I'll tell you the best way, you, you, I'll tell you when you're going to know it. When you're just standing around in the mall and strangers walk by you and they speak to you. How's that? I mean, come, come try it out. You'll be surprised. You can just be standing there looking around. And buenos dias, buenos tardes, hola. Strangers, people you don't even know, just going to speak to you. So, yeah, yeah, you, you, it's extremely easy. The young gringos will, I, I answer this guy, the young gringos will fall in your lap unless you're obese and or rude. <laughs> and that may not be the case either. They may not care about that. But we'll talk a little bit more later about the difference, you know, the young gringos, and because there are a lot of young women here that want to, want a security blanket you know and for some of you guys that may be perfect wouldn't necessarily be suitable for me i want true love but you know it's whatever floats your boat what are the opportunities for dating within the expat community he <laughs> <laughs> got you <laughs> I, I would I, I wrote practically non-existent. You won't want any of the expat women from around here. Well, I want I, that's a bit of a stress. There are some nice expat women here, and single women. There's I know several. I know several, you know, awesomely wonderful single expat women here. But you'll also meet some that are very uh, confrontational, got bad attitudes along with bad breath, and they're really not happy. But they're here. You're going to meet them. They're here. I can. I wish I could give out names, but I can't do that, okay? But I would say that the opportunities for dating within the expat community here are meh. Maybe so, maybe no. There are a lot of single Ecuadorian women that would just love to have a little relationship with you. What are the opportunities for dating local women like? The sky's the limit, buddy. The sky's the limit. You come here, make sure you're on Facebook, make sure you have a profile, make sure you're single, okay? You get you married guys that come here and think you're going to come here and fool around your wife. You Sure, yeah, you can do that. Bordellos, or you, I think you can get a hooker and a bordello here for 6 or $7. dollars That You know, that'd be good for you, you know? And then I hope your wife finds out and kicks your ass out. But, you know, you single guys that come in here, there are lots of local women here that would be definitely be open to having a relationship with you. You get on Mark Bradbury's Facebook page where he's got like 7,000 followers, you know. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, within a week after you've been here, and especially if you post a couple things on Facebook, somebody will, you'll get a message in Messenger, hi, how are you? Hola. <laughs> okay, they're going to come to you. You you don't have to sit around and wait. I don't know how many of these women have approached me. And look at me. I was not blessed with or born with, you know, good looks. So I think most of these women are looking for security blanket, looking for security, looking for a good roof over their head, somebody to take care of them, and I'll tell you what, there's nothing wrong with that either. You find a woman here that, whether it's true love or not, if you find a good woman here that'll take care of you, and you can take care of her, and you can have a good, you know, great relationship, who in the hell is to complain? 
you're not going to hear it from me. The only guys that really creep me out are the guys that come here and think they're just going to clean up on all the hookers around town. And you probably will. Knock yourself out. You'll have a blast, okay? What about the age gap relationship? Yeah, well, you're going to see that. You're going to, you know, I got lucky. I My, my girlfriend is 63 years old. I'm 71. She's 63. Me personally, I wouldn't date somebody 30 years younger than me. I know a lot of guys here that got 30-year-old girlfriends my age, guys my age, dating 30-year-old girlfriends. I know a couple that have some children by them. But, you know, if you're in your 60s and 70s, you might, you can probably find a single Ecuadorian woman here. <clears throat> you know, of course, the language barrier is always going to be there. <clears throat> you might get lucky, and I would say extremely lucky, like me, and meet somebody that's bilingual. There's a lot to be said about this gap, this relationship, age gap between the young and the old. And a lot of people have different opinions about it. My opinion is that, you know, go for it. If that's what makes you happy, then go ahead and, and do it. But I'll tell you what, you better treat your woman right. Because let me tell you something, when you get one of these in your family, you get the whole family, okay? Some of these women got 50 cousins. Some of those are guys. They look out for each other. So you better plan on being a good boy, okay? He said, I'm looking mainly at Cuenca, so I know there may be a bit of a difference between the two locals, uh, locales, but any insight you can offer is greatly appreciated. I said, okay, there is a huge, and I wrote in all caps, huge difference between the coastal women and the Andes women. There's more indigenous women in the Andes than you'll find on the coast. I haven't, don't think I've seen an indigenous woman here in Monta. There are a lot. And Cuenca, I was in Cuenca for a month and I was kind of a, of course I wasn't looking, you know, but I was kind of a, I didn't see as many, you know, what I would consider to be candidates for relationship candidates there as I do here. You come here and go to the mall, I'd, I'd pay somebody to put a sign on single and available looking. They'd probably form a line. There would be a line. Girls would be putting their makeup on, the lipstick, combing their hair, practicing their English. You know, but now nah, in the Andes, I don't, I don't, I just really can't give you a really solid answer on that. Now I said the last thing I said, the best thing to do is just come here, be yourself, don't flash your money, and have a good attitude, and they'll come to you. Okay, that's my answer. Good luck to you. And so. That's it. That's my, my take on it. I, I'd say, guys, come on. Come on down. But be a good boy. Okay? If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, bite me. And I'll see you that with peace and love. I'll see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.